In this video, I want to examine where we're going next. What's missing? What needs to be figured out? The obvious is we need bolts and dowels to properly bolt the part together and locate things. We also need a lock screw up here on this bushing. As I rotate around, we need to consider this pin. Yes, in here we have a limit distance mate. In the real world, what stops this from falling off onto the floor and being lost? We want it fixed to the fixture so it can't be lost. Also, how do I get this part in and out? Do I have enough clearance to get the part in and out? That's where we'll start in the next video. And one of the other important things, do I have enough clamping force? Will my clamping force hold the part still and resist movement? Is it accurate? Is it repeatable? Is it reliable? Is it quick? Then one of the last things we need to do is how do we maintain this distance? that I've added here. We have a quarter inch gap, but how do we maintain it? It's critical that these holes be drilled on location. So what can I do to fix that? I'm just gonna go back to the isometric view, and that's where we'll go in the next video. And in the next video, we'll start from there. First, we're gonna look at loading and unloading of the part.